Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, will do my semifinal predictions for this year's Euros. Let's start with the first match we got here. It is Spain versus France. Oh, this is a tough one. Because Spain are coming into this one as the favorites. They've been playing the best football in this tournament of the four teams. And they've been playing some beautiful attacking football. Yamal, Nico Williams are looking so amazing. I view Spain as a protagonist in this game. They play the better brand of football. They're the heroes. France, on the other hand, is your antagonist. France are the team that plays not the best football, play very defensive, and France have just not been convincing so far. The thing about France, though, is that they've only conceded one goal this tournament, and that's been a penalty. France are yet to concede a goal from open play. They're also yet to score a goal from open play. So for this game, guys, it's tough to say because I think most of the world wants Spain to win this. I actually want Spain to win this. There's just something about France, though. France are always tough to beat. Every time France have lost a game in a major international competition, it's been 120 minutes. France are yet to lose a game in 90 minutes since Germany 2014. Even when teams had defeated them, it's taken 120 minutes to defeat them. Switzerland did in 2021, took it to pens. And I would argue Switzerland were much better than France in that game. Switzerland, France were very poor in that game. It only really showed up thanks to Benzema, Pogba, Pat, Magic. Then in 2016, France lost that game because of how, because of just, they were just cursed. You know, and I think the pressure got to them. And Portugal just got that one moment of magic and Eder just came clutch. So it's a really hard one to call, guys. It's a 50-50 match. I think for Spain, if they are to win this game, they have to do 90 minutes. I don't think they could do this on extra time because I have a feeling that if this goes to go, goes to extra time, France will be more, uh, France will push it to Pens. And if it goes to Pens, I favor France. I don't favor Spain, even though... We have seen teams and international tournaments don't win back-to-back -back shootouts, as we just saw this year with uh, Portugal. Portugal did not win back-to-back. -back. So it's a tough one to call, guys. It's a really tough one to call, guys. But unfortunately, I have to go with France. I just got the feeling that France will do this. I really hope I'm wrong with this prediction because I love Spain and I want Spain to pull through. But I have to go with France here. I have to go with France. They're just the tournament favorite, and they're just tough to beat. I know it's a boring answer. I know a lot of people won't like this answer. But I have to go with France. I'm going to go with France to win 1-0 after extra time. And I got a feeling it'll be a, through a set piece. I don't think any of the attackers will score for France. I think it'll be through a set piece. And also another thing to consider for Spain is that two players suspended. Carvajal suspended. And the fact that Len Omar is suspended. That is a huge blow for Spain. And I think that could actually hurt Spain. Because Spain will now have to play. Um, Spain is going to have to probably play Nacho at center back. And they're going to have to probably play Cucurella at right back. Which I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'm not sure it's a good idea, but that's probably what they're gonna have to do. I'm gonna go with the center back to score the winner, and I'm gonna go with hmm. I'm gonna go with Saliba. I'm gonna go with Saliba to score the winner. I think we'll be off a set piece, and I'll say France get it done extra time. France get it done extra time. I'm gonna play my uh, I think I'm gonna play my booster for this one. Next up we have is Netherlands versus England. The Netherlands, man. Shout out to Netherlands. Netherlands, what they've done to get to the stage has been phenomenal. I didn't expect Netherlands to do this. I actually went against Netherlands the previous two rounds. I didn't back them against Romania. I didn't back them against Turkey. And yet they are in a semifinal. So it just shows you that I could be wrong with predictions. Netherlands have been great um, offensively. I think Cody Gakpo has been on fire. And Netherlands' attack is looking great. I'm very concerned with Netherlands defensively, though. And I think set pieces is one of the big concerns I have. Because it feels like every goal they've conceded has been through a set piece. And that is a bit of a concern. Uh, leading up to this match. England, on the other hand, have not been convincing. England have not been convincing this tournament. England are just, just been getting the due bare minimum. And it just feels like individuals are carrying England. Individuals are carrying England, and that's why they got to the stage. It's a difficult one to call because I don't really trust either manager. But what makes this one so interesting is the fact that I think Netherlands, for me, play better as a team. But I think England have the better individual players. And I think that might come to fruition. And if it goes to Penn's, I'd probably favor England because of Pickford, because I think Pickford is an amazing shot stopper. But for England, I don't recommend to take this to Pens. I don't think this should go to Pens. It's a tough one to call, but I'm going to go with England. I just think England, for me, have the better individual players, and I think they are. I think the players will rise. And I, for Netherlands, I just feel like I need to see more from the other team, the team, because for my issue with Netherlands, I just feel like Cody Gakpo does so much for the attack, and I need to see other players step up in the attack, like oh, Dip High score a goal, Wagor score a goal, Bergwijn. Javi Simmons, you know, for England, you have a lot of different options that could come. A lot of options like Palmer could score a goal, Saka could score a goal, Bellingham could score, Kane could score. I just think England have more options 
in the attack compared to Netherlands. So I'm going to say England went 2-1. Um, do I go in 90 or extra time? I think I'm going to say in 90, actually, guys. I think I'm going to say in 90. I'm going to say England actually take care of business. I think they'll make the final. And I've got a, I got a feeling that England will do this. And I got a feeling that who's going to score the goal for England? I think I'm going to actually say um, Jude. Yeah, I'm going to say Jude. I think Jude will score a goal. And I think I think England will actually you know what. I think I'm going to go with a defender. I think a defender will score a goal because I have a feeling Nettles will concede a set piece. And I think Nettles will mess, uh, mess up. So I'm going to go with the center back to score for England. And I'm going to go with John Stones. John Stones. And I'm going to put my booster for this one. My four times booster, man. So those are my predictions, guys, for the Euro semifinals, man. I want to know your guys' predictions in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe. And peace out.